What's up, Geeks and Gamers? My name is Draymond, and welcome to Thorium Gaming, and it's time to hop back into the Eternal Empire, our efforts to bring the entire old world under the forces of order and good. Now, we've had some invasions on the coast. We've been dealing with the Norskins, and it's coming to a head up here. We beat back a pretty massive invasion by Wolfric the Wanderer, but it's left our armies pretty oh, ravaged. Now, Karl Franz's army is in desperate need of I command healing, here. as is everybody else here. But, Boris Toddbringer, we got enough forces here to handle this. Uh, we should probably get Karl Franz some regiments of renown if we can afford it. We can indeed. <sighs> Don't really want that. A lot of these are on cooldown still. I want the Arch Lector to have that. Let's... <sighs> the Wagon Hellblasters are so garbage, though. Uh, we could get the Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank. That would take up most of our money per turn, but that gives him another viable option until we can get some Demogriff Knights and other things in here and sort this down to some other stuff. Uh, we do have Bellacor in the ground here, and Grim is going to keep going after him. Uh, Leif Guldenbrenson is going to be coming ashore probably pretty quick here, but we should, in theory, be able to reclaim the north as quickly as possible. They do have an army off to the west here, and we have counter forces coming down to deal with them from up here, I believe? Yeah, Marius Lightdorf is here, and we are sending our forces in this region with Elspeth herself to take on Ozag the Slaughterer and deal with the rest of the orcs up in the mountains. Then we can maybe start giving some of those over to our dwarven allies and spreading them out further. I, I do want to give uh, character Drin to them and then focus on the coast. Give them Zufbar, give them all that sort of stuff to build them up, but we're going to have to wait on that. We don't have a lot of gold available right now, and we don't have a lot. We're only going to be making 15 gold this turn, so yeah, we're just going to have to let the other nations go and see how it works out. I hope everybody's been enjoying playing Space Marine 2 if they have been, because uh, yeah, I haven't actually been able to get down, sit down and play it yet. It's been uh, kind of a rough go, go of things. I haven't had a lot of time with my rig. Uh, no, we're not making any military access packs with the undead. They are a force of the undead, so no, they're not forces of order. But most of our wars are up in the north regions right now. If we can somehow curtail everything that's happening over here... That's one that we're able to auto-resolve. I think he took that city. Oh, he just came ashore and got himself in a... Sacked, sacked, okay. So, where was the sacked city? We got raiding still. They just sacked it, but didn't destroy it. So, if we rebuild that, we're going to need to, because we're running out of coin. Alright, now he has retreated. And these armies are more or less back in shape. Madness! No! Tempting, tempting, tempting. Like, if we put Carl Franz here. To it. My inventions serve the Empire. Forge ahead! March you there. My studies there. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Fight for our nation. Block them there. Awaiting orders. Would well, you guys so. recover a bit more? Toddbringer, you need... Uh, we can't afford that on the upkeep. Is there anything that we can do? Because we got our Imperial Architects, which gives us a little bit more income. Let's go with that. We need we the gold. We are proud in the empire of our innovation. Alright, so let's get things sorted. We have Marius Lightdorf that we are ripping as fast as we can Moving up. to the northwest. I know Draika is going to be a pain in our butts later on. We don't want any access with Kemri either. There's no one that we can sue for peace. The World Wakers possibly, but we don't want to sue for peace with them. Elspeth von and our engineer, Mr. Furix himself. Uh, All-terrain vehicle helps all the war machines. We don't have any steam tanks with them yet. Black powder discipline. Yeah, let's get him that. We'll help out. 
master engineer. Can we get the Elspeth? Oh, they're already being besieged. Well, Drake is doing that. In the borderland of life and death, one can lose oneself. What would it cost to get Draka back on our side? Because they scrapped uh, our treaty with them. What elves? We're looking for what elves. Wargrove of Woe. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to follow Draka. And then once she's done, we'll go in and start the war with her in land. Death takes the laggard. In search of answers. All right, there we go. There, uh, Boris. We're just going to leave you as you are, and we're going to try and close this up. I mean, Middenheim hasn't got a great garrison right now. Might have enough to repel that, and we can warp people up there. By Grimney, this had better be good. Jorik, we're just going to keep you there. Lebs, we'll just put you on this My side. Journey begins. So many ideas. Uh, we can't upgrade anything right now, so we'll just let the other nations go. This might be a little bit of a recovery effort. Just gonna see what these Norskins do here. If we can eliminate both of these armies, then we're pretty good. Separated into two squads. Join Morgan. No, we can't do that right now, even though the money would be tempting. The dead are coming up from the south, which sucks. How is that? Oh, they are not within. Oh, it looks like we're gonna lose Furix. It's fine. Must have to deal with it that way. The rest are just wounded for now because they're special heroes. We got a decisive victory here. We'll fight the battle, but we're going to let them take as many casualties as possible. We're going to let Draka's forces wear themselves down on the walls because we're going to see Draka once she's in there and then immediately bust down to start taking out all of her... Uh, tree territories within the Empire. And that'll probably be how we get things to go good. I know we did skip a battle with one of our characters, but that's fine. It's okay for right now. Not ideal, but is what it is. Sorry, Furix. We might have to get you back from Wounded. That gives us a chance to build up the Ark Lector and his army at some point. See how things go. Really hoping to get into some more. Oh, it's a field battle, actually. So, yeah, we'll probably just sit back here, let Draka's forces go forward and get smashed. And then we'll deal with all of their range and everything, and Azag himself, once our troops hit the field. We're going to basically come on as one big reinforcement wave. So, we'll let Draka and her army set up. Use her as a blade of shielding. It's a shame that Grashnak's there is not one of our chief places and we'll probably send our secondary army here down to capture the last orcish stronghold and get elspeth booking it back to where marius lightdorf is fighting what well, will be fighting against draika in the interior of the empire My wife just sent me a picture of our uh, oldest cat. He decided to get himself dirty the other day, so he just got out of the bath and he does not look happy at all. All right, let's start deployment and start the battle. We got a minute and a half to go. Cave bats and they're Draka's pulling back? 
feral bears, zotes. Now I haven't seen them on the battlefield before. Basically uh, wannabe titans. We've got some cave spiders or giant spiders, deep wood scouts. Are the orcs moving forward is the question. They're just kind of spreading out. Their reinforcements are piling in. We don't have any reinforcements on the battlefield just yet. This is not going the way I wanted it to, so let's just speed it up and see what happens once my forces, or our forces, I should say, get on the field. Alright, let's pause real quick, because uh, we got a little bit of time before the rest of our group gets on the field. All right, Bruckner, we're just gonna group you with your Demigriff Knights, because that seems to work. Take our skirmish off there. Group our cannons and make that that way. We are not gonna be used as suckers for the Wood Elves. We are the ones that are gonna make the Wood Elves into suckers. Actually, let's shift that so that all the iron sides are there and our Hawkland long gunners are over here. And we'll set up our artillery right here for right now. Hellstorm rocket batteries and our cannons. Elspeth will stop you there and we'll send our cavalry into the woods here. And once the rest of our reinforcements start showing up, we can supply them to other groups and get set up and hopefully force Trika and her forces to move down. Alright, so let's just pause things for right now. Let's go to all the archer units, take their skirmish mode off. Let's include all of our infantry units in the first group. All of you are in our second group. Oh, there we go. Helps if I'm holding the right button. We'll link you up with that. And we will set up so that our forces are here. First group. Second group, our Hawkland Long Gunners will be here. Our cavalry will go out to this side. Our artillery is going to go in the middle here. Get them to move up. Warrior Priest can go in the center with our captain. Our land ship can just sit here with our artillery for now. And let's get Elspeth in the middle. Speed everything up. And now what we wanted to happen is happening. We'll go out with Elspeth and see what we can do to take out some of the bigger orc threats. We're gonna let all of Draka's forces get involved in this fight. Where's Azag? This isn't looking too bad. Let's just keep casting spells and breathing and... Hurting Azag is more important than dropping his troops right now.
Okay, at least our Hellstorm rocket batteries are in range. Should still have a ton of magic. Yeah, 100 over 100 power reserves. Elspeth is going to keep casting and breaking these guys. Draco's forces actually did pretty good. We're just going to keep casting on Azag and keep him down. Let our artillery do a bunch of the work. Seven for the purple son of Xerxes, and we're just going to toss that there. Alright, let's just advance our forces to maybe get everybody back into this. If we have the chance. I mean, I will take victories without losing any of our troops if I can handle it. Well, we can also do just a significant amount of damage with Elspeth. Maybe Azag will do some damage himself. See what we can do about eliminating Azag. Feast on their flesh. As the battle's over, I don't think Draka's forces are going to take much more damage. So we'll just have to deal with that. Draka lost a lot, and Elspeth got 236, and our Hell Blasters, our Gunners, our Cannons even did a little bit of damage too, but we need more Hellstorm Rocket Batteries. And Draka lost half her troops, so that definitely helps us out. She's the one that broke all pacts of fellowship with us, so I do not feel bad about taking over anything. Let's take the treasury, because we need it. Elspeth von Draken. Oh, Join Morg. Yeah, we're not doing against Doomseekers. They have an army, like, right on our doorstep. We can't handle that right now. takes that. I don't think he did. Some of our heroes. Grim is done. This back in order. I command here. Oh, this could be tough. We don't 
have the option to go both directions to deal with both threats. The nation calls. Uncontrollable. That's Gorsal. That's actually Bretonia's problem. Yes, to unite the provinces. All right, first things first. Let's check out our gunnery school. And the Amethyst Armory will be upgraded when we kill a thousand people with our Amethyst units. Uh, do we have access? We need level three to get them. Amethyst Outriders would cost us a thousand to get on the field, so that doesn't help us. Warrior of Sigma. All right, Lebs, let's move you there. Carl Franz will come in and fight. He'll run. That puts him in even worse position. Like, terribly worse position. We'll slaughter him, then we'll get set up, slaughter the other Northmen, then we'll start moving along to take our top line back without... Grimm's army, we now have the ability to get the Arch Lector up. We'll get those heroes back shortly. Might want to make an artillery specialist. Most of our reinforcements are coming from behind. We're not going to want to do that. We're going to want to set up here and get our reinforcements all to the same point. So they can just come in and help us out. Our greatswords, we might lose a unit or two of greatswords here. And if we have to stop and get some more troops in, we will. But honestly... I think we can just outshoot these guys. Set up in this area here with our reinforcements coming from the rear and blast them with all of our artillery and our brand new shiny steam tank, which will be helpful. We don't have a lot of gunnery, really, but we have some knights. And Franz himself and our wizard can do a lot of damage, and we have tons of reinforcements coming in, so I'm not too, too worried. going to be a lot of combat on this, and if we can knock out all of these Norsemen and we can push them back, maybe, just maybe, we have a chance to start going across the water. Let's... Alright, let's get set up properly. We want to set up over here. Oh... That's actually terrible for us. Like, Ready significantly for terrible. So let's set up here. Regular gunners in the woods here. Auckland long gunners there. Great, cannon. Great cannons there. Mortar. Our mortars there with our engineer in the middle. Wizard there. Bronze is going to be up Pick front. Target. Our knights will be off to the side here, and our steam tank will have hold the right flank. Now, let's move all of these reinforcements to around here somewhere. Assuming this even lasts five minutes. Let's actually put our steam tank up on the hill here so we can start shooting right away. Well, those Marauder Champions are in trouble. General! Take the ground! Start getting our Knights on the move. At this point, it's just wait and see until the rest of our reinforcements show up. Once they do, we can set up a proper battle line. Some skin wolves going off that direction. 29 seconds till our first set of reinforcements come in. Take the ground! Your orders? Move out! Ready for war! We 
we got reinforcements coming onto the field now. I want you to get over to the fight as quickly as possible. Let's pause real quick, get you to vent. Where is the leader of this vicious horde? There he is. Charge in. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Let's not beat around the bush here so we can get as much in this week as we can. We lost 35 soldiers. It's over 10 to 1. Their army is wiped out now. And we can go fight the other unit that's involved here. And hopefully with a lot more stability and having all our units show up pretty much at the same time. Let's see how it works out. Maybe I'll make another engineer for a new sub of the channel slash friend who's been uh, hyping up my videos to his friends in the real world. It'd be interesting. And he is kind of a little bit of a weirdo. But in that very awesome, you love him because he's awesome and weird kind of way. Uh, let's take the army replenishment. That'll wipe out that army. Alright, hey, now here. we got some levels to do. Franz himself has everything that he could possibly want there. Let's get him tenacity, because he doesn't have that out. I live uh, Daniel to Lebs. The Emperor. Uh, got foot soldiers for him. And he's going to get honest steel later. Brass lung is good. We can't get Grand Shield of Faith to level 11. So let's get him full plate armor. And Niklaus in his army. We'll get him Foe Seeker. Actually, wait, did he get access to training? No, he didn't. Foe Seeker is fine. Uh, Static Lore, who's up there helping out Elspeth, will get Ballistic Instructor, and Daniel Frankenverter will get another point in Scarred Veteran. Emmy Schreiber, uh, let's get Impassioned times two. Elspeth has pretty much everything she could want. She can't get the next rank in Mentor quite yet. And let's go recruitment cost for her army. All-terrain vehicle, not really a big a deal right now. Let's get Mercurial Shot. And for Theodore Bruckner, weapon strength, fearsome combatant. That's actually really good. Alpha Griff. Oh yeah, we want Alpha Griff. Oh, he's got two levels. Um, let's actually get him unknown origins. I am prince and, and emperor. Our wizard here. Uh, it's got demon darkness. Paid a 
Byunja, so we can start killing off more single characters. All right. I am Franz. Now, Franz should they be able to engage that fight. I will do anything for Sigma. Now, do you have weapon yet? Let's give you the ogre blade. Which is good. We'll go to your Captain Niklaus, and he doesn't have pretty much anything. So let's get him the Gambler's Armor, Sword of Strife, City and Amulet, Pigeon Plucker Pendant, Risen Sillaries, if there's anything that we can put in to help you out. Give an Entertainer. Not going to be ambushing much. Messenger will help. Do that. As you say. Against Sigma's teachings. Not while I reign. This will bolster the nation. Alright, Toddbringer. Strengthen the Empire. Go and chase him away. I'll have to set As you over to Sigma's crown. March stance. March stance. Alric's will. All right, now we just have to hold back long enough to get all of our artillery and everything else on the field. So this should go pretty well. I hope that it is Franz's army showing up first. And we can actually manipulate where the reinforcements show up so that Franz's army shows up first and we get all of the artillery and the good uh, units from that. So we'll just do that. And that should kick him off of our shores and then we can spend a couple of turns building these three up so that we can send one to the east to reclaim everything while Marius Lightdorf comes up. Then we can worry about Draika and everything that's happening there. It's just going to be a lot of combat. So we want to be as far back here as we can get. Our Dwarven units are our front line. Our gunners behind them. Our mortar behind that. Our witch hunter can go in there and we can switch off that mode for him. Wise counsel! And we should actually put our cannons our here. Channel magic if we can. Yeah, no luck this time. And we want Franz's army to show up first. So minute 47 on them and... Alright. We want Franz's army. So Franz's army is showing up first. There we go. Now we'll see if they're going to come towards us. Nothing moving, nothing moving. And as soon as Franz's troops get on the field, and then Lebs's get on, at least his character should get on, be able to work this out so we can set up some really decent stuff and bomb the crap out of them. All right, we have a ton of troops now, so let's do this properly. All of these are part of first group. All of these are part of first group. Just like that. Now, gunners are our second group. We're gonna set our gunners up on this side. Nice and neat. Hawkland Long Gunners. Gonna be a group of their own. We're gonna set them up here. Now these knights are going to be part of. Ungroup them, put them in the proper group. Our third group is gonna be our knights, and they're gonna take away the sat the left hand side. Set Boris there. 
Set our captain there. Witch hunter here. Our fire mage there. Our engineer is going to go up here because we're going to get him set up with the artillery. Our lore of death mage there. Emperor Franz on the right flank. That should make equal coverage. Uh, we have cannons, which we're going to group up and we're going to take to the top of the hill here. We have mortars, which we are going to group up and take to the top of the hill. And then our engineer is going to come up top and we're going to take the moat off of him. Our steam tank we can put there. And we have one unit of archers that will just kind of sit somewhere over here, take their thing off. And I believe our fire mage flies. Some of them are going to get hit by something, I think. Looks like our cannons are going to be able to fire. No, it's not very exciting just yet. Alright, let's pause real quick. We're going to advance. Not too much, mind you. Just enough to get a bunch of things in range. Franz, we'll leave you holding the, the line in the center here. We want all of our guys to be within range of whatever they're supporting or whatever their idea is. actually content to let them try yes, General. For the Attack. engineer Not exactly what I wanted to have happen with our cavalry charge, but we'll take it. Let's drop some impediments in their path. Wow, their leader just got straight up murked. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I really don't think this is statistically going to end well for any of them.
take the decisive victory. For 56 of our units, we almost got 10 to 1, and we wiped out their units on this shoreline. Means Boris can sit tight and regroup. We can start moving Franz and Lebs to take other cities and reclaim a lot of stuff to get our funds back, and then we can start getting the Archlector a very, very good army back in Nuln, and then we can transport him up north here somewhere. I think Middenheim is now a Rose Garden, so... Or Garden of Moor, I should say. White Cloak of Ulrich. Nice. Alright, so we're going to do our level ups first, and then we'll see where we go, because he's got his Imperial Griffin now. Uh, let's take Woundmaker, because as soon as we get up to the next one. Uh, our Fire Mage. We don't need the Piercing Bulls, because I'm not very good with them. Uh, let's give him the Mark of Hish, for spell resistance. I will marshal the bed. Captain can't take anything there. Blade Shield, and then he'll get Deadly Onslaught soon. Yes, my lord. Uh, our Witch Hunter's already got Slippery. Got cleanse corruption. Tools of judgment. Yeah, let's actually do tools of judgment. And Protector our second captain here in Niklaus. Uh, let's get sparring practice. Make him better. Is there anything else in this list? Ah, yes. Bring our death agent, Richard Biber. Unsettling radiance. Causes fear. That's awesome. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Uh, we might as well bring it our all-terrain vehicle, because we're going to be using some land ships here at some point. I am Prince and Emperor. Now, Dieter Schaffen doesn't have a very good garrison. We can retake that. They're trying to rebuild an army here. They do have a good army there. We'll see. Master Engineer. Elspeth von Drachen. All right, time to declare war on them. All of our allies against their none. And we're going to have a decisive victory here. So let's go in and fight this battle, and then we can get Elspeth and Static Lore booking it back. Well, Static Lore is going to stay up in the mountains and deal with the orcs and goblins. We're going to take Elspeth back and start dealing with all of her, well... Draka's pain in the butt stuff in the middle of the Empire. We might lose some territory to this. We might gain some territory to this. But we're looking for cash. We're looking to build everything up. And if we get Grashnax Lair, we can start doing some really neat stuff. The big point here is going to be to hold this realm and just drop spell after spell after spell after spell on all of these creatures that she has with her, especially the tree men. Our artillery is probably going to come in clutch here, as well as our gunners. So we'll just have to see how this works. And we do have to get some more rocket batteries and everything. But we can take her army and deal with the stuff that's going down down there. We might even leave the orcs and goblins to our allies. We'll see how it works out. But I want Draka done and gone. I want her out of this picture. I want to remove her from the board permanently. Okay, um, that is the lousiest place to start off our army ever. So we're going to set up here. Hellblaster rocket battery. Engineer! Elspeth. Yeah, that's good, that's good. To the sky! Well, they are These helpless fools will soon cower in fear. For who could stand against the oncoming tide of death itself? Where's Zreika herself? There 
There she is. Champion of the Countess! Reaper, go! Alright, reinforcements have arrived. get onto the field before we start setting up where they're going to go. Spread your wings. All right, let's pause real quick. Group things up according to their classification. Ship up here, our engineer up. Group six. We're actually going to take his troops this way. Send the captain with them. The warrior priest. Great honks, cave bats. Oh. That is the wrong group. <laughs> Let's not send our infantry all the way over there. Let's send this massive block of cavalry to deal with these treekin. taking a little bit. I don't know why it's taking as long as it is, but our Hellstorm rocket battery is actually almost out of ammunition, which is not good. Bats like that. Advance our cannons and our hell blaster. And we want that on the malevolent tree man. back from that.
It's definitely different fighting in Wood Elf towns, I guess you'd call them. Honestly, I was expecting more. Well, it's not really a challenge here. waste our nights on that. See if we can shoot this down a little bit. Take this, bring Elspeth over here, start throwing some spells down on Draka. Draka. Might end it. I don't even know what forces they have available still.
Oh, he took it down to a close victory, but that's fine. Static Lord is going to stay up here, probably generate some troops for himself, because he lost half of his force. No full units, I don't think. But with Draka out of the way, we can send Elspeth down into the Empire proper and start taking out all the little towns that she had captured, which will give us a lot of Imperial authority that we kind of desperately need right now. Occupy because that gives us a new territory. Did we lose Emmy? Um, let's go in here. Oh, Emmy Schreiber died. Oh, that's that's a shame. I'll have to deal with that. Consequence of that anyway. Execution. Elspeth von Draken. Gotta get her moving. Add it and what to was my collection. the uh, rank gain, equipment gain? She should have got something for beating Draka. Destroyer of Dryads. Mute to Athalorian Nutrition and control for the enemy in their province. Nice. Now, uh, we've got Immortality for Furix, which is good. And let's get Bandolier and extra powder for him. Do you have any do we have better armor for you? Not really. Alright, we'll just have to work on that as we go. Do you have any skill points to spend? You do. Make you even harder to hit. Because you're gonna be lighting those demigriff knights in pretty well. Sagacity personified! Uh, Schreiber will send you after Fallen King Mountain. Master Engineer. Victory carried on the winds of magic. Let's grab Is you one of those. I know we were trying to save up for a lot of money to get Ulrika. Let me take a look at you. I got one turn to increase these ones. So Thunderous Grudge Rakers. Nice, like. It's awesome. Ooh, oh, that would be so nice if we could. Uh, we still need some more gunners, and uh, we have one unit of those My that we're just going to get rid of. Will be correct. Uh, Karaza Karak, we have one turn, and we can recruit two units. So let's go. We have. A fair amount of infantry, My not a lot of, fair amount of gunners too, so let's go with one unit of infantry. Let's grab some Greybeards, and those new Thunderers, Slayer Thunderers, from that. We don't have outposts anywhere else right now. The the Can't recruit any elements must be strong. And for our normal units, let's go with... Basically, just anything that's a single turn that we can get up here. Swell with fresh um, go with that, and we'll grab another couple of units of archers from the global. Now, it should take you up there. To the provinces. All right, Marius Lightdorf now? is kind of in position to start doing some stuff. Yes, a sound Let's back. take Waldenhof. I know it's kind of a cheat, and we try not to do this as much, but we're going to take this because we've got to get through this episode pretty quick. Sigma. That gives us an entire new 
province. We can actually upgrade Temple Hop. We're doing pretty good there. Now, unassigned skill points. Static Lore has got some. Let's get ballistic calibrations for him. Rearm and remodel. Uh, his captain. We can get another point in the Scarred Veteran and Blade Shield. And I'll help him out. Marius Lightdorf. Start you on there. And your captain. Are you training. Right. Heroes not Tanker. moved. Now, Nuln, we need 12,000. So we'll be doing pretty good as we go along here. Now, we did have a commandment available for a territory up here. Just took Grashnak's lair. Spices in, and then we'll make 2,000 and some odd gold per turn. And what do we need to upgrade? Just a few more kills with Amethyst units. Now let's go over to the Amethyst Armory. You know what? Let's grab a unit of Amethyst Outriders. Elspeth Von Draken. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to grab the Amethyst Outriders to put in there. That's all good there. Let's look at our diplomacy and that's where we'll call it. The force is the undead. The force is the undead. The War Group of Woe wants peace already, so if we keep hammering them. We should be able to get them to the point where they don't want to do it anymore. Static Lore can take over everything next turn. Doing okay. We're going to start getting our territories back. Is The Arch Lector is available, I believe. And so is the Captain. Oh, that's, that's nice. We might want to hit him Archers and Artillery, which would be good. But I think we're going to grab Volkmar the Grim. Instrument of Sigmar's will. We don't want to go too overboard just yet. I think that's how we'll start his army and get some him artillery later on. But I think that's where we're going to call it for this week, guys. If you liked the video, please consider hitting that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, join me in this or other Let's Plays. Just hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes out. And remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time, take care.